So it's like this. Uh, this week, Yeshua Mayer, our producer, brought me this article. Of, uh, it's called Ha Zilberman. Let's put the camera on it. And uh, they write about the famous uh, Zilberman clique in the old city. And this got me thinking of what I think about it. But I want to talk about a general union, and then I want to get to the point about what we're talking about here. Now, I don't really know the Zilberman, but I do know... I do know you know, your brother-in-law is his first cousin. So that means... I La Moshe that. Levy, I mean, yeah. Mishpacha. Right, right. So it's like this. There's two things. There's learning, learning Chazal, learning Halochu. There's understanding what it says. When I say understanding, I mean knowing how to apply, how to apply it. There are, we have two halakim in the Torah. There's the chalak ha-halacha, which is exact, everything is meduyek, the tefillin have to be exactly square, four batim, black ritual, black batim, all the halachas. But then there are things that you have to that that are not clearly mugdar defined, and you need daster, you you need shimush and you need many years of sitting and learning to understand and to know how to apply certain things. Let's say, for example, the thing that just came to my mind, the example just came to mind is. That it says uh, that a woman should daven. A woman is mechayiv and tefillah, but uh, but she's yotzer with once a day. So they asked once Rav Yashiv if uh, suppose she wants, suppose she can daven three times a day. Is it, uh, is, is it a good idea? She said, yeah, of course it's a good idea to daven. If she can daven three times a day, she should. I heard that Rav Slama Zaman, they asked the same question, and he said, yeah, but you have to know, eh? she wants to daven three times a day, but maybe that'll take away from her taking care of her house, taking care of her children, giving it, and taking care of the children doesn't just mean to change diapers, it means also to give them attention that they shouldn't grow up and feel, yeah, I didn't get enough attention from my mother, and I'm such a miscan, and maybe I'm a failure, maybe it was a mistake I was ever born. So, so she has to take care of that. Sipshat Shmamani Musa Vichlot. He does terrace him ever there. The Gemara says, In Chulon Chamin Vishemin Shesachtani Imi Bialdusi, and Amduli Bizikhnusi. So he said, Shlomo Zama said, you have to know if, uh, if it's on the cheshven of taking care of the house, taking care of the children. It means like this. Of course it's better to daven three times a day, but, but you have to always, there's, there's shikul adas, which is, which is something that was nimsa to gedolei Torah, or to talmide chomim, even if they're not to gedolei adot, to understand. Kol amit tor lishman, mesek and abos. Warm harbor, yeah. Mosrim Lo. Rosy Torah. Rosy Torah is a high madrega, but I'm talking even without Rosy Torah. You're right, this does have something to do with Rosy Torah because Rosy Torah doesn't just mean to, to understand how the spheres came down and how they lowered and then they bent up and they came up like I once heard from a certain Mekubu. Rosy Torah means understanding a certain depth in Torah that that you need a certain feel for it, and you, you can't find it written in a sefer. And then there are other things like that also, which uh, I, maybe I'll probably soon think of examples. Because uh, what I would call it is shikoladas. There's such a thing called shikoladas, and that's or 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 Lamasha, another example I would say. Let's say that you have a boy that's 13 years old, 
and he can't, it's hard. It looks like it's hard for him to sit and learn the whole thing. And I, 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 think, I think they're a lot like that. I, I even think, I, I don't remember myself. I don't know if I sat and learned the whole day. I wasted time in the middle. It was hard to sit and learn the whole day. And what'll be, maybe to learn Limude Chol half a day would, would keep him within the Haredi world, would keep him within the yeshiva world, would keep him by learning. You would know that he just has to learn half a day. Now, if he learns Limude Chol the other half of the day, he's not wasting his time. Wasting time, Batol, is the worst thing, that's for sure. So maybe it's Kedai. And I even heard on my show that somebody gave a H to, to somebody that they should do that with their 13 year old. They should learn the mother Cholay for that. And the parents said, yeah, we accept the H. But we're afraid that our daughter won't be accepted in seminaries because they'll say that we're not such a charade and that we let our son learn the mother Cholay for that. So it'll hurt our daughter, not for Shiduchim, they're not old enough for Shiduchim. It'll hurt them for, from getting into seminary. Which means, of course, Shiduchim. Yeah, okay, we're talking the early, the first mm -hmm. stage. So, <laughs> so, so the Rav Moshe Goldstein from the Yeshiva Shara Yosh over here was asked this question because those that we're giving the advice to the prince. They said it's too hard of a question for us to answer. So they asked him, so he says, if any menai of a seminary does not accept these daughters, these girls, because their brother had to learn the mother half a day in order to keep them within the misgirt of the yeshiva world, and because that he won't take them into seminary, so it's mutter lehargo b'yom ha'kipurim shechal liyuz b'shach. Mm -hmm. So Lashon the closing of the Rebbe, you know. Lashon the Gomorrah P'sach and Memetash. Oh, excuse me. he use it on? Uh, forget exactly what it is. So he got it from the Gomorrah, obviously. Oh. The Gomorrah says in Amar, it's allowed to kill him on Yom Kippur shechal liyuz b'shach. So Rabbi Goldstein said in that. Uh, Moshe Goldstein has that story. I don't know if he's not so famous. He didn't make it in the... In the in the in the Haredi media, but uh, but he he he's uh, definitely a person with dust, in my opinion, and that's what he said. So, so I'm saying you need shikla das. You can't you can't say it doesn't say any place. Should a 13 year old learn the whole day, or should he learn the mudechol for day? There's a lot of things that tell you about shikla. That's that's the introduction to the subject that I want to talk about. Now, came along a yid, and his name is Rabbi Yitzhak Shlomo Zilberman. I remember him from my days as a child learning in common. It's 53 years ago, and I'm was friend and I'm friendly with his son Avram Zilberman. When I learned in Cheder, he was in my class. I could take care that he came to the chasna of one of my children, and he sent me invitations to a few of his children. I didn't get invitations to his children in a long, long time already. Maybe he finished already marrying them off. So, so I, I, uh, uh, also, so, so this article when when Yeshua Mayor gave me this article. I read it, I was, even though I don't know them from inside this uh, Zilberman community, but I know of them from the outside, from, I know part of their family. So I was thinking like this. The Chazal say, Ben Chomesh Lamikro, a Mishnah Perkelvus, Ben Eser Lamishna, and Ben Chamesh Israel Gemur. Five a five year old learns. Mikra. Ten years. He learns, five years he learns Mikra. When he's ten years old he learns Mishnah and when he's fifteen years old he learns Gemara. Now, now, so they say, well let's, the Chazal say, so we have to do that. 
So we have to learn Mikra for five years and to learn and Chazer and Chazer. And then for five years to learn Mishnah. And then only, we only start Gemara when, we're, when they're 15 years old. Now, I, I don't see really, I don't see anything wrong with starting Gemara at the age of 15. And for five years learning Mishnah, I, say, I, really, I, don't, I don't really see anything wrong with it. What, I, what does bother me is this approach that um, we're going to do it the way it says. I, I think that this Mishnah is one of the things that are Tully and Shikola does. That is, I just looked it up in the Rambam. The Rambam does bring the Ben Chomish Lamikro. But he says, Ben Sheish, you take him into Chazer when he's six years old. And there's a whole discussion what that means. Six, I, the Mishnah says five. So it could be the Mishnah says five, it means in the, when he's five in the sixth year, the Gemara means in the sixth year. And there's a Shita that says that, that when it says Ben Chomish Lamikra, it means he learns Mikra at home with his father when he's five years old, the whole sixth year. And when he's six years old, he's th then he goes out, then he's old enough that he could go out of the house and go to the cheder and learn over there. And there's a long, long discussion about this in Hilchus Talmud Torah of the Baal in the Kuntris Achron. The first piece in his Hilchus Talmud Torah talks about it. But, but the Baltanya adds over here that when they said Ben Chomish Lomikro, they were talking about those that they knew the, in the time of Chazam when the language was Loshna Kurdish. And when they read the Chumash, they didn't have to translate, they right away understood what the words mean. So he says, so what did they do? They read, they read and read and read. So as soon as the child read the Psukim of the Chumash, he knew what it's talking about. So they just read the Nakudas and the timing. They, had, they did have to teach how to read it. And they had to teach how to sing it, the timing. And in five years, they can learn the whole Torah to be make sure he says. Now, that's true. Nowadays, also, the, the children speak Lashna Kodesh. And they read the Chumash. They, mostly, they, they know what's talking about. Of course, the Rebbe still has to explain it. So, I'm saying like this, but the Rambam doesn't bring the halacha of Ben Eser le Mishnah and Ben Chamesh Yisrael le Gemar is not mentioned in the Rambam at all. I understood that it means like this. When the, when the Chazar was saying Ben, ben Eser le Mishnah and Ben Chamesh Yisrael le Gemar, it means the Chazar are talking about a person's growth. Because you see later in that same Mishnah, it talks about Ben Esrim, Lirdov, the one after his Parnosa, Ben Shloshim Lakoach, Ben Arboim Lavina, Ben Chamishim Laitza, Ben Shishim Laseva. Zikna. Shishim Lazikna, Ben Shivim Laseva. Is that how it says? Ben Shmonim Le. But kids, until he gets to Ben Meir, Kilomeir, Ben Tishim Lasuach. It's talking about a per, uh, the growth of a person is what the Mishnah is talking about. You, you see, you see from the continuation of the Mishnah that every ten years a person re reaches another stage in life. Ben, there, there's a stage that's called Zikna Ben Shishi. He has a certain understanding of life that's called Zikna Zaken Shekana Chochma. The same thing is Ben Chomish Lamikra Ben Esra Lamishna. It levels in the development of a person. A person develops for five years, another five years, another five years. Here we have a few seconds. There's a, a level of Mikra, Mishnah, and Gemara.